What's up guys, it is Captain speaking and welcome to another Spartans Legacy War Recap. When was the last time I was able to say that? It's definitely a long time ago, that's for sure. And uh, yeah, today we're actually not going to be recapping one, but uh, we're going to be recapping seven wars actually because uh, Clan War Leagues just ended and we moved up to Master 3, so we were in a pretty low league obviously. Um, yeah, won every single war, it's not very surprising. We uh, outmatched most of our opponents. You can take a look at our lineup here. So basically, we had like, um, looks like about 9 turn of 13s. Not all of them maxed out, though. Like, for example, me, I'm like nowhere near maxed out. So, yeah, I think we probably have like 4, 5, maybe 6, nah, probably like 5 maxed out people. Uh, not even, I mean, yeah. Whatever, a couple of Tunnel 12s, couple of 11s, and I think we also played some 10s for some wars, I'm not sure though, I didn't really pay attention. So, yeah, basically um, we, we knocked it out of the park, which was to be expected, so looking at the season here, we got 364 stars, I don't know if that's maybe an all-time record, it's definitely like 115 stars more than second place, and 3000% more, so... <laughs> Yeah, looking at the breakdown here, so actually had a perfect war in there for war number 6. And one where we are close, war number 2, 44 stars, and yeah, did pretty solid, that's for sure. Uh, but yeah, I want to show you guys some attacks as well. And uh, as you can probably imagine, in Crystal 1, it is pretty tough to find attacks against some decent bases at least, but... I think I was able to find a couple, so let's go ahead and check those out, guys. We're going to be starting off with this one here. And we've got the mad dog attacking. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. This looks to me a little bit like a tunnel uh, 12 base that just got, like, the scatter shots put in or something. But anyway, it doesn't look complete shit uh, like most of the other ring bases that we were facing, so... Decided to share this one with you guys here. So we obviously see some Queen Charge um, hybrid uh, attack action here with the Miners and uh, Hawks. That just seems to be super strong. For me, that's weird because looking at this attack strategy, it's kind of tough for me to trust that. Like, I don't know, it just looks weird. Like, it looks like a weird army to me. So uh, I don't know if I would... Um, use it maybe i'll have to try it since it is so successful but mm, it looks weird to me like you have so few miners and so, so few hogs but I, it works like it's super strong as you guys will be able to see so yeah uh, lures out the cc here um this definitely does not look like a pre-cooked army that he just threw on a random base and it worked it looks like he planned this out very well also with the air defense there and uh, uh that stuff so yeah also the poison spell um not too early at all and um, yeah so anyway <laughs> we see the king coming in on the other side siege barracks um, so I think he was panicking a bit for time here probably so apparently you send in the miners first I mean I'm also learning this attack strategy guys um, well learning whatever anyway you send the royal champion in as well with all the spam and the miners are just gonna like, like kill the king and the queen so you don't really have to worry about getting to those i mean it is getting a little bit tough to um to like kill every obje objective in the base yeah like back in the day it was just um basically you had to kill the queen at tunnel 9 then at tunnel 10 attacking with ground troops you have to kill the queen you have to kill the king okay so that was two things then Tunnel 12 comes around, you have to kill Queen, King, and you have to kill the Town Hall as well. And now we're at Tunnel 13 where you have to kill K Queen, King, Town Hall, and the Royal Champion. So I guess it that's also why this is like popular because it get like it's tough to take care of like all the objectives. Like it's tough to kill every four of those things with just a small investment. So people just say, okay, I'm just gonna kill the, the Town Hall, the CC. Oh yeah, the CC as well, by the way. So five things now. Um, kind of forgot about that uh, so the CC as well so uh, dude, this one skin is so ugly I don't understand why anybody's using it but anyway um, so yeah there's just so many objectives that I guess it is just nice to have some miners in there with your hogs to to like kill the this is so omega annoying that this always pops up whenever you exit out of an attack like supercell fixed your 
fucking whatever it is. Just put an extra button somewhere, like put it here right above war info. You put a button, overall standings, if that's so fucking important. It's just so oh, giga annoying whenever you look back at these wars. Anyway, we have another attack here, guys, by uh, Lloyd. Uh, all the way from New Zealand. Um, <laughs> attacking this base here with uh, a level 3 royal champion, it looks like. So that's pretty strong. Also, we've got a level 50 queen. But once again, guys, I, I can show you... I don't have to show you, I think, like, you probably know what it's like playing in the lower leagues, like, most bases you find are just ring bases and, like, complete shit, and it's not even, like, worth looking at it, so, this looks decent-ish, at least, so, that's why we're watching. Anyway, nice funnel here by, by Lloydie Boy, um, making his way to the town hall. One fair play wall breaker left is gonna open up the wall just in time before the queen starts shooting the town hall there. We have to CC out with the Lava Hound and uh, Baby Dargan action. So, yeah, I think the CC is getting less and less popular because um, with like bigger space, the, the the actually if you think about it, the Baby Dragon is actually pretty shit with the Lava Hound. Like, look at it; it just did absolutely nothing, and it's just gonna die in the poison spell. Um, so yeah, I used to be a huge fan of. Uh, uh, lava baby, but not anymore, I think. Anyway, we're already starting with the spam again. I almost missed it. So the queen took care of what she needed to take care of. Yeah, I promise you, by the way, we're gonna see another attack strategy as well. Like, it's not only this. I actually kind of messed up because I, I thought that the first one was gonna be just queen charge hogs. I kind of missed it. There was miners in there, so now we're seeing two queen charge uh, hybrid attacks here back to back, which is... Uh, well, content-wise, maybe not ideal, so sorry for that, but um, I guess I wasn't like paying a lot of attention when I started recording. Also, I just woke up, guys, so give me a fucking break, okay? Anyway, Hawks are in, Miners are in, and we see a Warden ability against the Bomb Tower and Eagle Artillery, and we see a single Inferno. Somewhere I saw a video title, I think it was Itsu, with like, single Infernos are getting meta. Uh, I didn't watch the video, so I don't know what it was all about, but I don't think they are meta, but yeah. Anyway, I uh, probably had a point there, and I uh, maybe should watch it before I make statements on that, but the single inferno in that case definitely didn't do a lot, and we see the hawk victory lap around the base, beautiful stuff right there by Lloyd. Always gotta appreciate the, the swag, guys, that's for sure. And by the way, we stayed in Master 3 in in case you didn't see that three times already. Um, okay, we're gonna go to war number five here and we're gonna go to base number two where we have another semi-decent one, I think. And we've got Jimbo coming in on this one. He likes this um, Yeti kill squad hog attack. Like, I see, see him do that quite a bit. Uh, and uh, he's got pretty good success with it. So basically what he does is he, he makes a pretty big kill squad here. Should have deployed the Wrecker earlier, by the way, Jimbo. Uh, but uh, I'm, of course, really smart talking out of my ass as the attack's already over. But anyway, so he, he also... I don't, I don't want to say that. Anyway, so we've got a lot, lot of the Yetis walking around the outside here, so that's not uh, ideal. So we got King, Queen, Warden uh, going in there at the Yetis, uh, as I mentioned, uh, around the outside there, taking care of some, some cannons and stuff, and maybe gonna kill the royal champion pretty sure that was not intended but it's gonna work out and uh, his royal champion as you can see he uh, is sending that in with the hawks because that way he can't kill the queen of course um, it's like in this case the kill squad gets a lot of value and I don't know if he was planning to, to get the queen but I guess his queen is gonna kill the queen here maybe but even if that doesn't happen like um, Oh, the Tesla farm is so nasty. How did he get through that? Spring trips as well. Didn't even watch the attack fully yet. Like, I just started watch the beginning. Um, once again, we see the, the, the primal ugly AF warden. Um, so, yeah, basically, um, what I was trying to say here is even if you don't kill the queen with your kill squad, uh, I think it's still, like, pretty good because 
nice warn ability there. Uh, because, like, the royal champion can definitely kill a queen, right? Like, I'm pretty sure she can. Um, but yeah, so... Oh yeah, he actually did lose a lot of the hawks, but the ro royal champion able to clean up here. Level 20 royal champion. Was this boosted? No. He just straight up has a max out royal champion. Okay. Um, mine is uh, going to level 6 right now, guys. I hope it's going to be, like, maybe 15 next season. I don't know. Probably more gonna be like 13, but we'll see. Um, I'll be farming though. Uh, so yeah, basically, um, the, like when sending in the royal champion with the hawks in this attack, you can get away with not killing the queen with your kill squad. And I think that's pretty good. And as I already mentioned, like turn out 13, you just have the problem um, that like there's just so many objectives. Like there's five objectives and. I think it just promotes spam attacks, honestly, more than anything else, because it's just so tough to get all the bits and pieces working together, and I don't like it. I have to say it, I don't like it, uh, because it just feels like spam is more viable than ever, like at tunnel, uh, tunnels 11 and 12, it was still possible to like make fun of the people that were only spamming because like there was other tech strategies that were viable and that were like cool and nice to watch like Queen Church Lalo, which is still viable in some cases now, but I just feel like it's less relevant than ever and also Sui Lalo, stuff like that. And it kind of paints me, honestly. It, like I don't think I even realized this before, but um, it hurts. Like spam is... Uh, it's more viable than ever. So anyway, guys, we're just gonna um, take a look at the season here one more time, just because it's like a nice uh, image to look at. And yeah, so knocked it out of the park. We moved on to uh, Master Three. I probably expect a similar season for for uh, for next season, uh, but this has been Spartans Legacy against uh, Clan War League's February season. Success and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. More war content coming soon, I promise. Uh, hopefully, we're gonna get some decent matchups. And I guess I'll see you guys then. Uh, so, until that time, the cat will see you all later. Peace out.